making predictions. Results from random samples can be used to make predictions about an entire population. Remember, percent is out of 100, so when looking for a percent, you must multiply the rate by 100. So our first example, the student council advisor asked every 10th student in the lunch line how they preferred to be contacted with the school news. The results are shown in the table. What percent of the student population can be expected to prefer email? So, there are two ways that we could solve this. First, we need to add up to figure out how many total students we had in the cafeteria that day that got surveyed. So we have 16 plus 12 is 28, plus 5 is 33, so we have 36 total students. Okay, so if we're looking at preferring email, 16 of those students preferred email. You could simply divide this, or we could set up a proportion with our percent proportion. For our first method, if we do 16 divided by 36, that gives us 0 0.4 repeating. And if we multiply it by 100, that's going to give us our percent of 44%. Let's look at our se second method. So for this method, we cross multiply, which gives us 1600 equals 36x. And we divide by 36, that's going to give us 44.4 repeating. We don't have to change this because this is already in percent form since we used the proportion. So both of them would give us about 44%. Let's look at this next example where we're not looking at percents. A store sells three types of pants, jeans, capris, and cargos. The store workers survey 50 customers at random about their favorite type of pants. 25 customers reported liking jeans. 15 customers chose capris, and 10 customers reported liking cargos the best. If the store plans to order 450 pairs of pants, how many pairs of jeans should they order? So, we have to look at what we're looking for. So, if I have a proportion here, because again, we can't use our other method of finding a percent. So, we have 50 total that were surveyed. And of those 50 people, how many of those liked jeans, since that's what we're looking at? So that would be 25. So if we sur surveyed 450, or ordered 450 pairs, we got to figure out how many pairs of jeans need to be ordered. So I'm going to cross multiply. So when we cross multiply, we get 11,250. And when I do 50 times x, I got 50x on this side. Then to get x by itself, we have to divide by 50. So that tells us that they would need to eat, order 225 pairs of jeans. So to review, when you're looking for a problem that has percent, you can either set up the percent proportion, where percent is always out of 100. You can simply use division. That would give us both the same answer, or if we're not looking for percent, if we're just making a prediction about a population without any percentages, we use a proportion where it's part over total, and then we have to take a look at what we would be surveying in the second. So this would be our total on the other side, and we had to figure out what part of that needed to be ordered based on our smaller sample of the population. Mm -hmm.